Grand Rising. Queens, queens, gods, goddesses, multi-exclusive dimensional being Kai with another exclusive. Today's video is going to be about being jealous and being insecure. Now, what is that word, jealousy? Because we heard that word many times. We heard that word in them terms too many times. Now, of rip down to the deepest core, to the deepest natures, jealousy represents resentment. Yes. Now, what is resentment? Resentment means you are in somebody else's world. You have gave your power away. You're only in the space of viewpoints of world points and world views of somebody else's perspectives in this world. Which means you have no power. Which means you weak. Which means that you allow outside external references to dictate and determine your outlook on life. This also takes you back to lack of confidence. And this also takes you back to insecurity, which means that your inner security, aka you're not secured internally. And what that what does that mean, not being secured internally? It means you're outmatched, you're outweighed, which means you're washed up under the current. You're diving in too many rivers. You too, too deep and very low at the bottom of the sea right now. And what's going on is you're getting lost with all the other fishes. You're getting lost with all the other sharks. You're getting lost with all the other beings that's under the sea. And you dive too deep into the sea that you ain't create your own sea. You ain't create your own space. You following the food chain, which means that you are in one location one destination and you're allowing too many bricks too many substances to cloud your judgment on how you see the world and your point of view and your outlook and if you don't have a point of view or an outlook in this world you're going to allow someone or you're going to allow the society to give you an out view and an outlook on the world and when you allow somebody to control the way you see things in life then that means you have a third eye calcified eye, which means your realization, your real eye is calcified. It got too many substances in it. It has a firm, you have a firmament on your third eye, which means you have too much bullshit on your third eye. You have too much baggages on your first eye. And of course, when you allow too much shit to cloud your judgment, AKA, which is the right perspective, which you just got to experience. And of course, use your other mind to logically see things and have a point of references, which you can have details to pinpoint things on how you see things in this world. And if you don't see things in this world with your own perspective, then of course, you're going to lead yourself into Dalmatians. And we are, this is what happened in the Bible with Adam and Eve. That um, deity which was the God that they was worshiping. That wasn't even a um, God, honestly. It was just a being that had other beings that was in that being pertaining and claiming to be a God. So that goes to show we created this world together. We created this outlook together. And we all are experiencing this shit together. Some spirits mixed, missed experience because they was vibrating too high. Some spirits came into this experience because they was diving too deep. They got too lost in their natures, their animalistic natures. And of course, when you get too lost into something on a routine day-to-day -day pattern and you don't get no movement going, you're too stagnated, what happens is you experience going against the universe and going against the laws and the principles. And when you go against universal law and you don't have your own insight and your own way of seeing and basically diving and going around obstacles and blockages, then you put yourself in blockages. You allow the universe to not allow you to receive more. You allow the society to allow you to tell you to basically say, oh, it's okay to sustain this position. It's okay to be in this position. And now society got you being lost into um, working for the rest of your life. 
or doing things that you're not comfortable with doing for the rest of your life. Now, take this into perspective. If you had, if you have a vision and you have a dream and you in a certain area or a certain location and the way you express yourself, you love expressing yourself, you love doing these things, but you allow other people outside of you, other influences outside of you to not see your judgment or your, or your outlook on view on things in this world because the thing is, they're already under a program, which program, pro means you are a pro and you're being grand, control, mind control, manipulation. And they, these people are so deeply rooted into those manipulations and those programs that they don't see other things or see other ways of looking at the world outside of them. They only allow what they was basically taught through generational experiences or down and down experiences. And it's fucked up because it puts you in a scenario where you're in a box now. That means once you're in the box of square, that means you're in that sunken place. And you're going to keep creating more blockages by creating more squares and feeding your kids this shit. A.K.A. your kids, which is your ideas and your feelings and emotions. These are the most two powerful energies, frequencies and vibrations and powers that you need. In order for you to basically create in this world and in this next time. So the position you're in right now, if you feel jealous or if you feel down, previously in your last life, you wasn't in a circumstance or a situation to allow things to roll and run smoothly. You got too lost into the outside world and you're basically dealing with karma in this lifetime. And when we're talking about karma, it's good karma. There's bad karma, and there's just your own karma of not going against the wave, which means you got too lost into one way of looking at the things in the in your world, and you allow you didn't allow newness to come into your perspective. You allowed yourself to get boxed in and get caught up into scenarios and circumstances and situations that plays into this everyday life. So that's why it's highly important to always be in a space. And be in the frequency of vibrating high and also having your heart and your mind on a bigger perspective and your own way of looking in the world. Now, the universe loves to expand and contract. So you are a part of the universe. You are your own universe. You are your own multiverse. And of course, you are a creator. You are not the creations. You are not a creation. You created this body from your spiritual natures. Down it was, then it was brought down into experiences, and then it became air, which you can basically breathe in. And now that structure, and now that becomes physical, as in earth, practicality, which are the four elements. And of course, you got the um, above as below, which is the heavens, where things are equipped and things are released from, from whether it's released from underneath or from the top. This is called the equilibrium. Now, if you in a spaceship and location of um, creating your own existence, you are on the right path. But of course, your inner securities, if you're not secured inside yourself, you're going to get outmatched by the world. You're going to get washed up from the world. And the world is going to have you in a spiral, a wrong spiral. You're going to be spiraling vib low vibrationally wise. And if you spiral in low vibrationally wise... You put yourself in a circumstance situation by not allowing new information, new experiences to go and see a perspective because you got too comfortable and too deeply rooted with one way of looking and allowing society to basically say you have to do these things in this way. Now it puts you in a space and location of being jealous, feeling like you ain't shit, feeling like you are depleted, feeling like you will never uh, obtain or achieve your goals. And of course, with a mind like that, with an emotional perspective and space and energy that you're portraying on a day-to-day -day basis like that, these are what you're creating. Now, you have to really take into consideration what be on your mind 23 hours in a day. Is it good shit or is it bad shit? Now, weigh the scales. Good, bad, bad, good, feel me? Like, now, if you, now, if you're in a position of being up here with too much bad shit and the good shit is not even being seen 
you're carrying too much bricks and too much weight. You won't be able to receive. You need to shed this shit from, from you. You need to go get you a motherfucking shower, a clean shower. You need to put some Ajax in that shit. You need to scrub that to the motherfucking tub. Scrub it like you really mean it. You need to put some bubble, bubblelicious, um, what's the word? Some water bath in there. You need to put put that um shower on. You need to turn that thing on. You need to mix some flavors up, put some rainbows in there, get some rainbows of waters in there, do some crystals, throw it, throw that, throw that gemstones in there. And you need to soak and you need to release and clear your mind. Because when you have shit on your mind, when you're taking a shower and when you're cleansing, it's cool. But if you're releasing these ideas, it's wonderful. Because you need to release all of that off you. You need to get all those bacteria, all those parasites, all those substances. You need to see them things get washed down the drain. When you get your ass in that shower, you see that black shit leaving your body? Yeah, that's dark energy. That feel me? And that's dark energy that needs to be cleansed from your body. You don't want to basically be allowing this to hang on to you. That's like also waking up with a whole lot of shit on your mind. And the shit that you seen that went down there in that shower, you know, those are the black substances. A whole lot of dark shit. A whole lot of cloudy judgment. A whole lot of um, spaceships and minerals and that shit. <clears throat> you need to release that shit. Replenish and get rid of that shit. This way you'll be able to have a clear perspective. Now you're clean. You feel good. You feel wonderful. You feel fresh. Now you can be able to receive new ideas and new perspectives. And now you're going to be able to actually get things going. And another thing too when it comes to jealousy and insecurities. Your mind can be all over the motherfucking place, traveling around, this is this, going there, that way. And you're not basically putting yourself in one idea perspective to build and create structure. You're going here, you're going there, you're going there, like you're just all over the place. And if you keep doing that, you're not going to be able to focus on one thing at a time and get it done one time. You're going to be doing this, 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 almost to the point you're going to wear yourself out mentally, spiritually, and physically to the point where... Now you need water or to the point where now you tie it or to the point where you got too much responsibilities and you plant too many seeds. And of course, this have you all over the place, almost to the point where you wasn't focused on one goal. You wasn't focused on one idea or task and you, you didn't allow these things to grow like flowers. You didn't allow these things to grow. You planted too many seeds. It was all over the place. These seeds was unbearable. So it was like, damn, you, you just out of here. You out of tack, out of whack. And of course, that's, it's, that is going to be seen because this is an aura that you're going to basically be carrying. You're going to be hiding those insecurities that you don't want the world to see from you. Now, if you keep doing these things, you're going to basically keep running away from your responsibilities. And you're going to keep experiencing these scenarios all over again. It's like a routine pattern. You're going to put yourself in your own hell, your own jail cell. The own, you're going to put yourself in your own hell in a cell. You're going to see the undertaker. Because what has gone, what's going to happen is these scenarios and situations is going to take you under by having you underneath where you're not being where you're not being able to be seen. And if you're not seen out in the spiritual realm, then that means you're not seen out here. That means you're going to always be in a, in a circumstance situation of being jealous or seeing others basically succeed and seeing your ass always getting the last end of the stick or the short end of the stick. That's why it comes to the point of shedding shit that you don't need in your perspective, not being jealous, having your own way, your own view, and your own outlook of seeing things in the world, and not allowing insecurities to blind your judgment or blind your path. Because it's the world we are in. This world is created to basically square you and box you and separate you and basically put you into one perspective of looking at the world, and of course... If the other worlds or other people don't see these things in this perspective, you give up and you lose hope. Knowing that there's trillions, billions of spirits that's out here that still didn't get a chance to experience in this lifetime. And what makes you think that the universe and God ain't actually putting these spirits in your domain or putting those, spirit, those spirits in your space to basically help you get above the current? Feel me? So never ever self-doubt yourself. Never ever, never ever have insecurities and never ever be jealous for something that you already have within yourself. And of course, you looking outside yourself for these things and these answers, that's not going to fucking help you. You need to look inside your motherfucking self. And you're going to get the motherfucking answers that you're looking for. But of course, everything starts with you. How much time you giving into yourself? Or how much time you giving outside of yourself? Every time you get on your phone, scroll this, you get jealous, you get mad. Why, but why? Because you're looking outside yourself. Just look within yourself. 
And that's your answer right there. I love you, but stay focused.